hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see the basic overview of an android app so in the last few video we have successfully created our first android application and we would be able to run or we were able to run our first uh, android app on an android emulator now for the first time when you see uh, an android app project it will look like this but what is what in this uh, uh, in this project for example this screen you see here is called an activity and the formal definition of an activity is an activity is a single focused thing that the user can do or in its simple terms you can say an activity is a screen which user interact with and an android app can contain many activities uh, in itself now where are these activities stored so when you go to your project overview here you can see three uh, categories one is the project itself it's a broad project overview and this is what uh, are the files and folders your project can contain right so it can contain the ide files your app files gradle files and other uh, files uh, which your android studio needs to compile them the second overview when you go to the project overview is the package and these are the packages your app is using uh, when uh, you created your app. But the most important uh, while developing your app, Android app is the Android category itself. And this is where all your, uh, you know, programmable files are there and design of this activities are. Now, this activity is just the overview but behind this there is an xml file so when you go to your app and inside this app there is a folder called res or res folder and inside this uh, res folder there are uh, some folders like drawable which contains some png files and your main activity or activity file is this one which is activity underscore main dot xml file other files are menu files which we will we will see later and the next category is values category that also we will see later but right now the main important uh, design uh, xml file is this one so for the xml file behind this uh, uh, screen is this main activity file or main activity uh, XML file. So you can uh, click or you can open this XML file by clicking this text uh, category here. So this is your design category of your uh, activity. And when you click here in the text, it will open an XML file and this XML file is the main you know xml file which uh, is responsible for the design of your uh, uh, android right android activity so what we can do is we can go to design and we can uh, delete this for now for example this one so you just uh, select this and delete this and then what you can do is you can uh, drag and drop these uh, palette widgets in your uh, activity. So there are so many uh, widgets in here, layouts, text fields, and other uh, designable tools. So you can drag and drop these tools and design your activity. For example, uh, I can just drag and drop from this widgets, the large text here and in here, just double click it and you can just uh, write anything here. For example, programming knowledge, 
okay and then this will be displayed here and uh, this Android Studio assist you to you know align your uh, widgets or tools in your activity so you will be able to see this uh, message here right now once I have done that there is a text view added to uh, my XML file and you see I have written uh, this text on my text view which is program knowledge and this is automatically added to your XML file also right I can edit my uh, XML file and it can be added to this view also for example programming knowledge uh, YouTube and it will be added to your uh, activity here so you can uh, add this from here also text and from here also you can add more properties to uh, your text view for example you can go to the design and you can change the these properties from here also so there are so many properties for example I want to change the background color of uh, my uh, this text view so I can just select this and then go to the properties and search for the property called background it's responsible for the background color of your property and go to the color and here I can choose any color for my text view for example green color I will click uh, ch choose my color and here is the result of the color so this is ff3 triple f1c so when I click OK the color will change and when I go to the text area it is the same background color which is f f3 ff f1c which was the color we chose we have chosen right the other thing is uh, you can even change the color of your background color or properties of your main activity screen which is this one or layout you can just go to uh, the background and just choose the color and choose any other color for example this blue color okay and it changes to the blue color okay now this is just the design part of your Android app but the main brain or you can say main uh, you know actions are taken in the folder called Java and in here there is a, a Java class or java file called main activity just open this and this is the class which is responsible for all the main actions uh, of your app so for example uh, you go to your main activity and you add some button here and you click this button all the code for clicking this button and whatever action uh, will take while clicking this button will be written here so this is just a java class which extends or inherits the action bar activity class so this is our class uh, which android studio have created for us and it extends so if you don't have uh, much experience in java programming i will recommend uh, you can see my java programming tutorial and you will be able to uh, understand what this extend means but um, simply this uh, is inheriting for, from this class and in here there are some already pre-created method which Android Studio have created for us for the first time so that our app can launch okay and this these codes we will see in uh, the further videos what is the meaning of all these code behind so that we will understand uh, more about uh, what they are doing okay but this is the main uh, you know uh, main logic of your Android app uh, where you will uh, write the logic of your Android app okay so these this is the basic overview of an android app or uh, there is one more uh, interesting folder in this app called manifest okay so this is the folder called manifest and this uh, contains the file called android manifest.xml 
and this contains all the activity uh, of activities of your android app so for example our android app right now contains only one activity which is this one and so this activity is you know uh, here but your android app can contain uh, more than one activity then there can be something like one activity below this second activity below this third activity and so on right so here is the uh, main launcher you can say of your uh, app so for the first time whenever you uh, launch your uh, application how will your android app knows that which activity should appear if uh, your android app can contain many activities and which activity to launch first this is decided by this xml file for example uh, this activity uh, this app only have one activity and this is the basic uh, logic which uh, tells your app that this is our main activity and we need to launch this activity whenever we launch our app so all the activity uh, mapping will be here in this folder and uh, other other uh, properties of your app will be here also for example your packages uh, packages information or other imp informations uh, related to your uh, you know app will be here so your uh, app name and styles and other things right so here all the activity uh, you know listing will be here so this is the basic overview of your android app i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and